Hello everyone, my name is Ekaterina and today we're going to be starting a playthrough of a game called Interference Dead Air. Um, I played a demo to this game and I was really impressed and I was really looking forward uh, to playing the full game and here we are, starting a new playthrough. Let's go! You closed up shop early. I suppose you need all the time you can get to pack the one toothbrush and three pairs of socks you've been able to fit in your cabin out there in Nowheresville, Alaska. <laughs> wow, I can't believe we're gonna be town mates again. Workmates, movie night mates. I don't know what to say, you know? I'm stoked. I'll admit it, and you should be too. It is beautiful out here in, um, well, Nowheresville, Arizona. <laughs> Seriously, though, there is a sense of infinite possibility in the landscape. Some serious inspiration for your script, right? Call me corny, but you'll see what I mean when you get here. Anyway, let me know what I can do to smooth out your arrival, okay? HR was still a bit concerned that you've never worked a security booth before, but I squared everything away, and you're set to start in the new year as planned. At the very least, I trust you to keep us safe. <laughs> All right, I'll shut up now. Last night's experiment was an all-nighter, so I should, uh, I should probably get some sleep. <laughs> Love you. See you soon. Are you serious? You've been with the Barclay Institute for, what, three months, and that's it? See you later? When were you planning on telling me? Any time would have been better than right now. <sighs> All right, cool. So now on top of the critical experiment we're about to conduct, I have to worry about you abandoning ship. And thanks for breaking the news from all the way out there in your cozy guard booth while we're at work, instead of telling me to my face. I really am sorry. So now what? What's next with that Swiss cheese resume of yours? Barclay wouldn't have even looked at it if I hadn't pulled some strings to get you here. And I appreciate what you did, but I still think this is best for me. Burning another bridge with yet another employer is not what's best. What are you gonna do? Go back to New York? The days of crashing on a friend's couches are over. I mean, Ben just had a kid, for God's sake. And who's gonna put in a good word for you? Your boss here sure as hell won't, or the last three employers you abandoned. Um, I want something real old part jumps at dead ends. I hear what you're saying, but you've got to start thinking of them more as stepping stones. You start with something small and you build up. What about your script? You wanted space to work on it? Well, here you go. The creative process isn't that simple. I know it's not simple, but what is simple is that if you keep distracting yourself by moving around, you'll never be able to focus. <sighs> I have to get back to work. Let's continue this later. What's up, my righteous radio ravers? You're totally tuned in to KZRU, the only radio station as far as you or I are concerned. Spinning for you right now, and here to kick off an explosive hour of audacious ostinatos is that hot new track from Rose Finch. This is Interference.
Okay, so I can go back to work or I can end the shift. Um, I I'm gonna stay. A banana? Seriously? I uh, don't know the date anymore. No time to check. Holy shit, I found something huge. I can't even write about here. It's too important, but soon. I don't know what it means yet, eligible, but it doesn't matter. I know it means something. Phew, okay. Deep breath. Drink some water. It's not over yet. There's so much to do. I still have uh, so much I have to do. Buenos notes, boobies. Uh, you choose, choose. We'll see. I can't get a hold of them. And we've got lights out over at Sector 5. Over. Apple. Hey, Jen Perry here. I haven't heard a peep, my friend. I can handle the reroute. You need me to go see what's up with them? Over. Eh, negative. I'm feeling a little cooped up in this office anyway. What am I, the little fresh air? Besides, who's gonna stop me? The place is a ghost town tonight except for a few oh, minutes. God. Find the code. Oh, what? Why is the words like un uh, like with a strap under it? Uh, are they important? Was it, was I supposed to respond? Uh, booth B, this is security booth A. Come in. Over. you forget who I am we've met so many times that's me pleasure to officially meet you my friend apologies for dragging my feet on making your acquaintance I haven't been too keen on making new friends ever since Jenkins took over and fired a bunch of my buddies it's all right how long have you been out out here <laughs> at Barclay uh, ten years Damn! Been out here in the desert for more than that, though. Moved here with my folks from Chicago when I was about 15. Been down here ever since. I like putting down roots. That's stability, you know? Didn't think much would grow out here, but then I met my wife, had a kid. It's home. Must be nice. Mm-hmm. My whole world's out here. And I love it, my friend. Anywho, I could talk until your dang ears fall off. But duty calls. You might have heard, but Spencer over in Booth C is MIA. And Jen from the central office is giving him the old welfare check. Can you do me a solid? These power fluctuations knocked loose another sector. And my authorization code's not coming through. 
I'm gonna walk you through how to authorize a power reroute, if that's cool with you. Once okay. I unlock your terminal, just follow the prompts on the screen and enter the code you get from that annoying phone dude. If your phone rings, that is. You ready, my friend? Uh, yeah? Where's this computer terminal? Oh, oh, oh boy. Should be right on your desk, my friend. Over in the corner. Alright, your terminal's unlocked. Just follow the prompts on the computer. Uh, critical power field place brace spacebar. Just do whatever the little box says on the computer terminal. Should say something about power reroutes and authorization codes. Phone. Phone. Welcome to the Barclay Institute Automated Phone Authorization System. Your authorization code for Booth B Power Reroute is. One, zero, six, three. If you did not request this authorization code, please hang up and call the security hotline to file an incident report. Thank you for making security a top priority. Okay, cool. Well, that worked. Sweet. Thanks, my friend. Oh, you what? By the way, you haven't seen a Ravine Rush disc laying around, have you? What the hell was that? Oh, damn. Do you see that smoke? That's over by Spencer's post. Uh, I'm gonna hightail it over there. See what's going on. Keep an eye on that power grid. Over and out. Well, not really sure what just happened there. Seems we're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> Pardon our dust. We'll get cracking on fixing that flow so you can put that little Nine, uh-huh. Do I have to do something? Call someone? Hey, are you there? Please answer me. Oh god, please. Hey, I'm here. Are you okay? Oh, thank god. I'm okay. For now. But things are real bad over here. Those, uh, unseen order people, the, uh, you know, that group that's always bothering us. They... Those goddamn cultists, more like it. Dr. Litvin, please. Yeah, those somehow got into the facility and are trying to get to us in the central lab. Like, this goes way beyond the picketing and protests. The blast doors are engaged, but they're heavily armed, and we're not sure if the doors are going to hold. But you're all right. You're safe? What's going on out there? Uh, I'm fine, but hell with me. Are you able to get out of there? I'm really glad you're okay. And yes, I mean, I don't know. We can override the security protocols on one of the other doors, but those cultists interrupted our experiment. And we can't just leave things out in the open like this. Valerie, what are you still doing here? I, 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 uh... You need to go. Oh, what about the... Valerie, you need to get that research somewhere safe. Go. We can handle the rest of the containment procedure. Anton, are the pH levels stable yet? Yes. I just forgot to tell you, Paul. I see. I don't know what you heard. Williams wants me to get the core research out of the lab, but I can't just... If, if they don't secure everything... I, I can't. I don't... Dr. Spears is. I don't... I don't know what to do. Um... Williams says you should leave. I would listen to him. Shit. I guess...
Ah, ok. And we're back. Through heat waves, dust storms, and random equipment malfunctions, I'll always find my way back to you because, listen listeners, I have a ratified responsibility to bring you the bodacious beats you want, no, need, to hear. And I got a live one coming at you in three, two, one. Hey, come in. I made it out of the central lab, and I'm in a room nearby. I don't think anyone saw me, but I, uh... Just deep, take a deep breath, it's going to be okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make myself believe that. Should I be calling the cops? Don't bother. I think the emergency system calls them automatically. But they stopped coming out here after they were squeezed out of that Jane Doe investigation. Also, there's like three people on the force. Can't imagine they'd make much of a difference. How did this happen? I mean, sure, they've been harassing us for months protesting our research, sending us that weird package with all the scribbling on the outside. But no one thought those hippies were capable of something like this. Um, can you just give them what they want? Um. Probably isn't here to talk, let's get you to safety. Love that idea. I wonder if the hallways are clear. Rendezvous at the west exit. The time for the harvest has come. We offer ourselves to harvest. That's a big no on that. I think I'm gonna have to go room to room, but I'm afraid I'll get lost if I try to navigate by myself. Let me think. Hey, there's a map of the facility in your booth, right? I need your help to guide me out of here. Oh, Get me to an no. exit. Just maybe not that one those cultists are meeting at for the harvest. I think they said. Anyway, room to room. Capiche? Yeah. Got it. I think. Awesome. I think. I suppose you'll need to know where I am. I'm in uh room 408. I think that's an administration. Maybe you can use a spare push pin to keep track or something. I'll give you a sec to find where I am on the map. Yeah, okay. An exit? Restroom. Are you good? Um. Uh, yep. Okay, remind me of the how. Yeah. Okay. I'm in room 408, so if I go west, I'll end up in room 407, I think? But that's as far as I'll be able to go before needing another direction. Okay. So, looks like there are doors in every direction, and I know the east door leads back to the central lab. I don't want to go that way. So which direction do I need to go to start making my way to an exit? So west, east, she doesn't want to go. Yeah, yeah. West. Okay, here goes. Just as soon as I have an opening. I did the right thing. You did the right thing, I promise. I appreciate you saying that. And obviously that's what you thought before. But why mince words? I abandoned them. Um, it's not too late for you to help, but you gotta get to safety first. You 
shouldn't just leave people behind when they need you. <sighs> I can't think about this right now. I didn't do that. All right, I made it to the next room. It seems like the power is unstable. Can you still hear me? Wasn't well, clear. Great. The lights were flickering like when we'd run those photophobia tests. I hope those cultists don't. Never mind. I I need to keep moving. Uh. What on earth are you studying? Doesn't matter. Can you please give me a direction? Go west. Roger that. I'll head that way. See the mess in here, and when they see what I did to the stapler, I don't hear anyone anymore. I think the coast is clear. Okay. for a bit though before moving on. Whoever I heard can't have gotten too far yet. While we wait, I want to mention how incredibly glad I am that you're here. I don't know what I'd do without you. And not just now, you know. I mean, not saying my whole world would shatter into a million pieces if you skipped town, but, well, I'd be very sad. Um, never meant to upset you. I know that, and I'm not trying to guilt you, I'm just, it's been a night. My mind's a bit all over the place. Let's forget it. We can talk about it later. Hopefully we can, but thank you. And thanks for your help. Time to boogie. Where to next? South. Um, there's no door there. You're looking at the map, right? Oh, there have to be a door. Okay, so she have to go back then. But then from this room she can't go here. Eh? I need yep. your help to get out of here, okay? Yeah. Please give me a direction when I ask for one. I'm going west. She's going west. And why this works?
I think I should tell you what we've been researching here. I know you're curious, and it might help you help me to have a better idea of our situation. Besides, if I'm right about what those cultists are after, it's not like we can ever go back from this. NDAs be damned. It's just not something that's easy to explain, okay? So bear with me, though I can't imagine how you react. What we've been studying here? What these people are here to me? Oh, pretty. It's a bit scary. What do I do? Nothing works. Esoterics. Peace and quiet isn't what I'm here for, so what do you say we kick things up a notch? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Are you still there? What the hell happened? I think they left the... Uh... Look, we don't have a lot of time. What I was trying to tell you before, I'll get to. But for now, you need to just... Trust me. There's an, um animal on the loose those monsters must have let it out because i can hear it prowling around are you with me so far yeah i think so keep going well buckle up so the thing with this animal it collects emr uh, electromagnetic radiation in a sort of photosynthesis it can redistribute that energy to destructively interfere or uh, um, cancel out various bands of the electromagnetic spectrum, including the portion of light that we can see. Does that make sense? To it collects energy to uh, charge what we see. Yes. Wow, exactly. It does this to make itself invisible. It's a cloaking mechanism, or so we hypothesize. The power disturbances happen when this mechanism is activated. And I think those cultists just restored full power to the facility to encourage it to... Uh, well... Hunt. Shit. Yeah. I think you should be able to use that power reroute software on your computer terminal to track what sector it's in. Look for complete outages. Do you see anything on your... The lights just went out in the room I'm in. Oh my god. I think it's in the room next to me. Okay. Okay. This thing's strength is also its weakness. I really, really hope this works. But if you can reroute the power to this sector and get the lights back on, it might become disoriented and flee. Welcome to the Barclay Institute Automated Phone I Authorization think it's System. outside the door. Your authorization Are you able to get the power on? Ruth B. Power Reroute is 5, 0, 3, 3. If you did not request this authorization code, get these lights please hang on. Come on. I need you to do this. Oh, three. Report. Thank you for making security oh my God. a top priority.
I'm underselling the place, honestly. Barclay is amazing. We just got, oh, hi, Dr. Spears. I hope you had a great Christmas. It's good to be back. <laughs> I'll be a few minutes late to lab prep, just showing our new security guard here the ropes. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we just got a DNA sequencer. The AB370A, which I know probably means nothing to you because, well, why would it? <laughs> but this whole facility is state of the art. They put you in booth B, right? That's the delivery checkpoint, and between you and me, you got one of the better security shifts. The nights are quiet, you can really soak in the atmosphere. I think you'll be able to settle for a while. End your vagabondic ways. <laughs> Is that a word? Oh, I've got a walkie-talkie. Technically, it's for emergencies only, but I'm sure no one will mind if I uh, appropriate it for a quality gab sesh. Oh god, did I just say gab sesh? Yeesh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You're gonna do great. We're gonna do great, really. I promise. Sorry, what? Why didn't you say it before tonight? <laughs> Alien! Completely bonkers, right? You have no idea how hard it's been to keep this from you. So it could fly me out of this mess on a magic bicycle. Come on, I know you have at least a million questions. I did when Dr. Spears brought me on board. What does it look like? Where did it come from? Does its internal biology work like ours? What if it doesn't? What if it does? But lay it on me. Do you know where it comes from? We have our guesses, but only the infinite cosmos holds the truth to that mystery. As far as how it wound up in a lab, I only know the few bits and pieces I've been able to pull from the data archives during my breaks, but most of what's there is beyond my security clearance. Dr. Spears never talks about it. I'm not even sure she knows, or cares for that matter. It's irrelevant. She always says that. It's been here being studied since the 50s. That's pretty much all I learned. Found on some farm. Whew. Wow. Rambled much, Valerie? Sorry. Well, no, I'm not. Let's pick this up later when I get out of this place. Anyway, Curly, the um, alien, fled into the vents, but I'm sure it'll come back. You'll have a better shot at knowing how close it is to me with your computer, so just be ready on those keys for your big solo. <laughs> or power reroute, just to be clear. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Next direction, please. Weird. I'm pretty sure there's no door there. I'm going north. Remember, keep checking that power grid, especially if you notice any fluctuations. I really don't want any surprises. I feel like Ellen Ripley over here. Except I don't have a flamethrower, so I should probably be a bit more quiet. You know the drill. Uh-huh. Uh, Booth B? This is... This is Perry, my friend. Looks like 
like everyone flew the coop from Spencer's post. Door was unlocked and the lights were on, but that's it. That explosion, though? Still don't have eyes on what caused it, even with the binox. Whatever spewing's a bit further past the hills, maybe off of one of the service roads. I can see on Spencer's terminal here you just authorized the power reroute, so I know you're home, at least. Everything cool? Yeah, well, there's been an accident. You don't say. I got a mystery explosion and an abandoned station. As a fellow security guard, I kind of need to know what's going on if you got info. Um... Okay. The alien on the loose, that's the... Okay. An animal, okay. What? Another jackrabbit hopped through an open window? <laughs> Damn, you had me worried there for a second, my friend. You know, the mine goes to strange places sometimes out here at night. And this whole situation over here is a touch eerie. Jen and Spencer probably just went to check out whatever exploded. Oh, that's probably them right now. Let's not paint it on the side of the... Oh, no, nope, no, nope, not them, not them, cultists, cultists with guns, cultists with guns, damn, okay, uh, I've talked myself out of plenty of sticky situations before, uh, okay, uh, don't really have a, <laughs> hey, my friends, <laughs> okay, well, okay, okay, so, what? Okay. Um, and with a map. Like I thought I thought I can leave lead her here, but it doesn't really work. You ever get that no fun feeling that life is just flying at you like a freight train? Just one thing after another until before you know it, you're looking back, brain boggled and wondering where all that time went. Well, don't despair, my far out friends. I'm the conductor of this here tune train, and I say it's time to temper the tempo and treasure the tubular times we've had. Focus on that now and savor that flavor. All aboard, adventurers. Chugga chugga choo choo. Put in one foot in front of the other, and voila! I made it. I must be close, right? I feel like I've gotta be. I can taste it. Um. Yeah, you're close. I knew it. I can't wait to see the sky above me. There's a full moon tonight. But we're not out until we're out. Which way now? Well... North? Works for me. You know, I've had this feeling all night that I'd imagined this exact scenario before. And it finally just hit me, that book you gave me. The Roswell Incident. I gave it another read not too long after moving here. It felt appropriate. Alien cover-up conspiracies, secret research bases, the works. It made me think about what would happen if the world found out about the research we were doing. Or if the alien were to escape. I won't go so far as to say it was a premonition, but... My imagination wasn't too far off, I guess. Welcome to the Mark Lake. <laughs> I remember you wrapped the book in foil and some wrapping paper system. so I could make a hat to shield my thoughts from crying lines. Boost B, power Appreciate rebound. you looking out for me. Is eight, one, six, one. If you did not request this authorization code, please hang up and call the security hotline to file an incident report. Thank you. I didn't even hear what she said. What? Guess you can blame that book for planting the idea in my head that you should come out here. 
If only you'd given me something boring and impersonal like a gift card, maybe we would have fallen out of touch and you'd still be safe and sound in your cabin in Alaska. Really makes you think. Okay. She's talking like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. 